I'm Steve West, professional hunting consultant, and these are my adventures. Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Scope Coke, Stormcloth 2, Mossy Oak, Direct TV, The Montana Decoy Company, Tillamook Country Smoker, Burris Optics, and by the new Burris Eliminator Laser Scope. Just range them and eliminate. Hey y'all, this is Travis Tritt. You're watching Steve's Outdoor Adventures right here on the Outdoor Channel. I get asked all the time which conservation groups I support and endorse. And that's always a touchy subject because a lot of people have a group that they favor and in some cases put a lot of passion into supporting. So to all of you who have asked me that question, here's my answer. I will support any and all conservation or sportsman's rights groups that are pro-hunting and produce favorable results for wildlife and long-term wildlands management. However, there are two organizations that I do support more than the others. The first is Safari Club International. They do a lot to protect hunters' rights and promote conservation around the world. They even spend a lot of money here in the United States and their efforts benefit hunters from all walks of life, both rich and poor. The second organization I support is the National Rifle Association because we can have the greatest conservation in the world and have increases in all the game populations, but if we do not protect our Second Amendment rights, we will be lucky to be hunting with BB guns. I really don't think that the general public understands just how aggressively our Second Amendment rights are being attacked on a daily basis by a very wealthy and passionate anti-gun ownership group. These two organizations do more for their members and citizens of this country than many people realize. I only wish that I had more financial resources to donate to their causes, and I recommend to all of you at home to become a member of these fantastic organizations. You will never regret it. Well, that was my two cents worth and your Steve's Outdoor Adventures Tip of the Week. After being at Nose Lake for two days and not spotting any caribou, the weather got incredibly bad. In fact, on that second day, right before dark, I went outside and I had a digital temperature gauge that actually froze solid at 73 degrees below zero. The blowing dry snow made visibility absolutely zero. It, it was miserable out. And the next morning, the sun was out and the wind had somewhat stopped blowing, but it was at least 50 below zero. Uh, the guides came to us and, and said, look, you guys stay here, we're going to go on a scouting mission because we haven't found anything close to the lake yet. Uh, these Inuit guides, I, I, I can't tell you how tough they are. They're so much more tolerant of the cold than we are. Of course, they live up there and, they, and they've been in it their entire lives, but you can't imagine how tough these people are. Anyway, they went out and they were gone probably about four hours and came back and they had found some musk ox approximately four miles from the camp in some rocky hills. So we got all of our gear together. Spirits were pretty high at this point because we were worried that we weren't going to find any. Uh, we went ahead and got all of our gear packed up and we got prepared to go make a hunt on these muskox. Well folks, it's the third morning of our hunt. We got up early this morning and it was well below 50, below zero with the windshield factor. And it was decided that we'd stay behind at the camp while Sam and one of the other guides took a ride on the snow machines to a scouting run to see if they could find any of the muskox. And, uh, over there about four miles from camp, they located a big group of musk ox. Okay, came back, we loaded up all the gear, and uh, now we're prepared, we're gonna close as you say, we, we've gotta get within one kilometer of them, kilometer. and then stop, and then we have to stalk from one kilometer. So we're gonna stop at one kilometer, we're gonna make a steady stalk through the rocks, and hopefully it'll end with Dave taking his first musk ox. 
I mean, I can hardly wait. This is, this is what we've been out here freezing for. And uh, by far, this is the coldest day we've had by a long shot. So we're going to hurry up and, and get rolling here before our cameras start to fail us. And what do you think, Dave? You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do the muskox. Muskox. Booming muskox. After taking the snow machines to within one kilometer of the herd, the hunters stalk the remaining 1,000 yards or so to get into position for a shot. Dave's muskox hunt ends in success right after the commercial break. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back. Closed captioning provided by Global Outdoor Gear. A new age of modern scope technology has arrived. Burris Optics presents The Eliminator. The Eliminator incorporates laser range finding technology with automatic bullet drop compensation calibrated to your rifle and bullet combination. Burris Optics, leading the way in modern scope technology. Burris's new Eliminator Rifle Scope, changing rifle scopes forever. Just range them and eliminate them. Whenever I go on one of my extreme hunting adventures, I take along my favorite jerky snacks, and I always choose Tillamook Country Smoker. While other jerky manufacturers are outsourcing their jobs to South America, Tillamook Country Smoker has been and always will be made in America. So next time you go to buy a bag of jerky, look on the back and see where it was processed. Then look for the Tillamook Smoker brand and buy American. The 2010 Ultimate Television Gear Giveaway. Popular outerwear company Stormcloth will be doing monthly drawings for free gear and one lucky winner will be drawn for an all-expenses-paid guided elk hunt to be filmed for the Steve's Outdoor Adventures television series. To enter, go to the website address shown on the screen and fill out a simple online form. And remember to ask for Stormcloth at your favorite sporting goods retailer. This could be you right here with me next year hunting big bulls. Go online and enter to win today. You've all been there. In the woods with a scope that's been bumped off zero, damaged, or a lens full of mud, rain, or snow. Next time you go in the field, protect your rifle scope with the inexpensive scope coat. Its durable neoprene design provides much needed protection for your valuable optics. Go to the website address on the screen to get more information on scope coat and their other great products and register to win one of over 500 free Steve's Outdoor Adventures DVDs to be given away this year. Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Scope Coat, Stormcloth 2, Mossy Oak, Direct TV, the Montana Decoy Company, Tillamook Country Smoker, Burris Optics, and by the new Burris Eliminator Laser Scope. Just range them and eliminate them. Now, I was on the second video camera. It was so cold that we had to run two cameras because the heads on the video cameras were freezing solid and the cameras would stop working. Ryan and I were filming and at the same time trying to stay low and not be seen.
Well folks, this past fall when Dave and I were up here hunting caribou, we kind of made a pact and a decision we'd come back on March 1st and hunt muskox with our good friend and guide Sam Kapilak, the Adventure North. And uh, I don't know if we knew exactly what we were biting off when we made the commitment to come up here at that time, because it's cold. But man, this is the third day. Our guides went out this morning and located some muskox. We came back out, spotted them again from a distance, made a stock to probably about 200 yards, wouldn't you say? Yeah, 250. 250. Put his 250 yard crosshair on the shoulder. Boom. Let him have it. Had to hit it a second time. Gave it a bit of a brainer in the horn. <laughs> but this is the end result. A wonderful muskox. You know, you've booked a lot of hunts with us over the years, Dave. Yep. And this has got to be probably the most trying test. We got ice on our faces. Does the adventure get any bigger than this? It doesn't get any colder, that's for sure. <laughs> At Steve's Outdoor Adventures, we book several muskox hunters every year. I offer the hunts in the spring, normally in April, and the hunts are done exactly as you saw on the show today, only with a little warmer weather. Then we also offer fall hunts in August and September on Victoria Island, where we hunt by ATV out of cabin and tent camp. Both are very exciting adventures at a reasonable cost, especially when you compare them to the other big game hunting packages available today. I want to thank David Schlopman for allowing us to film this hunt and share it with all of you at home. And any of you who are interested in hunting muskox or any other big game species should give our office a call. The toll free number and website address are listed on the bottom of the screen. And you can check out our new virtual catalog on the website that lists several of our outfitters and guides from across North America and around the world. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this week's show. But please remember to join us again next week for another exciting episode of Steve's outdoor adventures.